Welcome to CG Dive. If you're using Rigify and you have this problem where the IK leg bends the wrong way or the IK arm just cannot make up its mind, sometimes it bends the right way but then it bends the wrong way, I'm going to show you exactly why this happens so you don't have to deal with these kind of problems in Rigify. Okay, let's do it. So as you know, if you know the basics of Rigify, Rigify generates its final rig from something called a meta rig. And here I still have my meta rig in my scene and I advise you to never delete your meta rig. Always keep a backup of it somewhere in your scene or in your backup files. And so the main reason for getting limbs that bend the wrong way is that in your meta rig, the arm or the leg is too straight. I'm going to turn on X-ray here and here is my meta rig and I'm going to go to edit mode and if I look from the side view you'll see that the upper leg and lower leg are completely straight. If I change the viewport display to stick you'll see that it is a perfectly straight line. So what I need to do is select the knee joint and move it slightly in the direction of the knee. This will indicate the direction of the knee for Rigify and then it can figure out what to do. And you'll see that the bend that I created between the upper leg and the lower leg is still very subtle, but that will be enough. Rigify can figure out what to do with this angle. So now I'm going to look from the top view and do the same for the elbow. I'm going to move it very slightly in the direction of the elbow and actually let's select both sides and move them slightly in the Y direction. And that will be enough. Now I can go to object mode and generate my rig again. And now if I go to pose mode for my generated rig and move the leg, it will only bend in the proper direction. And same with the arm, I can move the IK control and it will only bend in the direction of the elbow. Now, if you want to go a little bit deeper into this, you can go back to the meta rig and let's switch back to octahedral, go to pose mode and select the first leg bone, the upper leg and go to the bone tab and find the rigify type section. And these are options that will be taken into account when you click generate rig. And there are a bunch of settings that you can change, but the one that we are interested in this video is the rotation axis. Currently it is set to automatic. And this automatic setting uses the slight bend of the knee that we set earlier to determine in which direction the knee should bend. And we have two more manual options. One is X manual and the other is Z manual. So if you change your transformations to local and enable the rotation gizmo and select the lower leg, then when I rotate this bone on the X axis, it bends the knee in the natural way. So if I switch the rotation axis to X manual and generate, then the leg will bend properly. But if I go back to the meta rig, and switch the rotation axis to Z manual and generate, then the leg will be bending in the other direction. And because the leg in the meta rig is still very straight in the uh, front view, we still get this indecisive uh, bending of the knee left and right. So what we can do is go back to the meta rig and let's say that we only want the knee to bend outwards. So I'm going to take this knee and let's disable X mirror and I'm going to push it out a little bit. Go to object mode and generate. And now the knee will only bend outwards. Okay, so these Additional options, these rig type options, can give you even more control over the direction in which your knee will bend. 
And by the way, the exact same thing happens in the arm. If I select the first, if I select the first bone in the arm, it has similar options. And here my rotation axis is already set to X manual. That is probably because I was playing around with this scene uh, before I recorded the video. By default, it will be set to automatic, but I can set it to X manual or Z manual. And again, with uh, local rotation, I can easily determine which axis I want. I can see that the natural bending of the elbow is in the X axis. So if I wanted to set this rotation axis to manual, then I would choose X manual. And if for some reason I wanted it to bend the other way, let's say that it is some sort of weird creature that I'm creating, then I could set it to Z manual. That's all for this quick tip on Rigify. Again, you can watch my full Rigify series to learn how to use this tool correctly, how to modify it and customize it. Big thanks to my supporters on Gumroad, Patreon and so on. Please click like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.